The American Heart Association, they do so many wonderful things. I was very blessed to work so hard with them. When my cousin received a new heart, he passed this year, but they really helped our family, and we appreciate that. They help any and every family in Wave Country. And I want to introduce the Queen of Hearts. They are working so very hard for the American Heart Association, each of them with their own reason. Let's start with you. Will you introduce yourself to everyone yes. and say why this is important My to My name is Becky Hale. Both of my boys were born with a genetic disorder junctional tachycardia. My older one had surgery successfully. Uh, my younger one still deals with it. It's kind of intermittent, but they're 24 and 21, so doing great as far as that goes. But And to see them get so big and do what they want to do, I know for you, makes your heart sing. Oh, it does, because my older one always wanted to do what he's doing. He's in the military and he's deployed. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> thank and you. thank your son. Yes. Right. And he wanted to do it, and he's able to do it even though he had those issues. Isn't that something? Yeah. Okay. That's Karen. Yes, I'm Mindy Beard Montano, and I lost my husband, Mickey, in his 40s. Um, he, in his 40s? In his 40s. He had, um, actually in the family, he lost his father at 49. Um, so this is very dear to me, very dear to my heart, to raise money. So it does, this doesn't happen to others. I mean, that's... I mean, that's just so young. I was telling you, lost my uncle's young like that too, yes. mm -hmm. and it it is it is n not to be a pun, but I guess it sounds like one. Heartbreaking. It's just mm -hmm. too young. All right, Miss Karen mm -hmm. has been here before. Yes. You look radiant. Thank you. Heart attack survivor. Yes, it's uh, coming up on seven years. It was January 2013. I survived a heart attack. And so I've been very involved with the Heart Association ever since, trying to bring awareness to it so people know what the symptoms are and not to brush them off like I did. I, my husband hadn't been there to, to see the signs and get me to the hospital. I probably just would have laid down, and that's what a lot of people do. So because for women, um, it shows itself differently, which as women, if you're a woman, you need to know that your heart attack may not look like a man's heart attack. Right. I didn't have any chest pain. Yeah. So um, mainly the, the left arm, and then mm -hmm. when, once it finally got to my jaw, and that's what a lot of women don't know. A lot of women, you know, have jaw pain. Yeah. So once that occurred, my husband knew that's also nausea. Yeah, I kind of felt that nausea and kind of lightheaded, pain. back pain, and I, yeah. he said I was just white as a ghost, really? kind of sweating and. Yeah, it, it, these are things that you need to know. I try to keep up with it. I have a heart loop, so generally my cardiologist knows what's going on with me before I even know what's going on with me. But to know all this information with your sons, you're probably a doctor now. Yes, I feel like it sometimes. <laughs> because you have to learn all of this stuff. Okay, so Queen of Hearts, you all are raising money. Mm -hmm. The Heart Ball is coming up. That's one of the biggest fundraisers. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is really important. Everyone is welcome to go to the Heart Ball. It is Saturday, February 8th, 6 p.m. to midnight at the Kentucky International Convention. Everybody's welcome to go. Shannon Cogan is going to be the MC. Her son, one of her twins, has heart issues, and today they still work with him and his therapy and his help. So go if you can. This money is important, and what you're doing is important. Why? And how can they give to you? Because you're still raising money, I would think. Absolutely. Mm. Anybody jump in. You can go to their just Louisville page, it's www.heart.org slash Louisville, and you can link to any of us and donate to us via text, calling, you can do our a link online, Facebook, there's all kinds of ways you to see get it to each there. of us. Louisville Heart Ball, uh, Louisville HeartballHeart.org, mm -hmm. um, so it's a Louisville Heart Ball dot heart Dot org. Make sure you have that and link to them. What do you want everybody to know that's important to you, the Y for the American Heart Association? It's affected you. You could have kind of moved on, but you didn't. You're working hard still. My children, along with Shannon, works with Camp Brave Hearts. Yes. Uh, both of my boys went from 6 to 16. I absolutely loved it, and I just like being there for other parents. For you? And I'm interested in raising money for the research um, for uh, preventative, for treatment, for education, yes. um, so that people can live long, full lives. 
Karen? Yeah, and just to let them know that just because you have the, the heart issues or you, as myself, survived a heart attack, you know, I still work out all the time and I try to bring awareness to, to eating healthy and to doing things to make everyone live healthier, longer lives. Yeah, we got to do our part too. Yeah. yeah. The knowledge, the working hard, the research, and the being healthy. Louisville Heart Ball is Saturday, February 8th, 6 p.m. to midnight, Kentucky International uh, Convention Center. Go if you can. Enjoy yourself, Louisville heartball.heart.org. Find the ladies and donate if you can. It could help you one day, too.